Christian Voggett here. Welcome back to another video. Full, the full-time whistle has just gone. Manchester City 6, Leicester City 3. Um, I thought we were fantastic in the first half. Got the goals from De Bruyne, Mahrez, Sterling and Gundogan. And then they come back with goals from... Madison, Ian Acho, and... Yeah, well, it was Lookman, wasn't it? The thing is with Leicester, they were so good going forward in the second half, and... If they had a better defence, it, 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 it could have been one of the best comebacks in Premiership history. But because they didn't have a good defence... And our attack was really, really good. That's how they didn't get back into the game. But I think in that second half, we did show a bit of tiredness and, and showed how much we missed Rodri and Carl Walker. Rodri, because Rodri moves the ball a bit quicker than Fernandinho and Gundogan. And also Walker, because his strength and physicality would help us so much tracking back against a side like Leicester with the way that they like to play by hitting us on the counter. And I think our man of the match was probably Sterling. Scored through the penalty, then got the goal from the corner to um, um, kill the game off. And also he had a decent shot on the volley that was saved by Kasper Schmeichel. And we're, we're going into the... Um, Villa, we are going into the Brentford game six points clear of the Premiership table because of um, because Liverpool were meant to play today against Leeds, but due to COVID outbreaks, um, that game got cancelled. So that means that that they've got Chelsea coming up, Liverpool. So if Chelsea win that and then we win our games coming up, we could there could be a nine point gap between us and Liverpool. And if Chelsea um, drop points as well today, then we could go nine points clear of them. I I I I think um, we were very we were a bit sloppy defensively in that second half. I think we let them get in behind us on the counter attack too easy. It was a bit like the Leipzig game in the Champions League. You'd think you've, we had a 3-1 lead at half-time in that game and you thought that the game was uh, over, but then the, suddenly they came out as a different team and um, then we were back to square one where they got back into the game and, and made it 3-2 and 4-3. And I think... We took our foot off the gas too much than what we should have done. I didn't expect us to play as well as we did in the first half, as in the second half, because we already had the the, the game, um, with the three points in the bag. But I don't. We did make that a little bit unnecessary nerve wracking in that second half with them getting it back to four three. I th I think. I'm not saying that I would have liked to go up, uh, asked to go out there and get ten and win ten nil or something like that, but I, I'm saying that I, I, I would have, I would have liked to see us um, play a little bit better because then we could have got players like Keiki off the bench and um, McAtee off the bench and maybe Palmer. But that, but that's this result is still a very good result despite us not being very good in the second half because of. Um, Leicester on the day can be um, a very good team and they have got that in them to um, get a result and upset like a, a big top six side and um, it, Leicester is never an easy game because um, they could have gone out that second half and got rolled over about 6 or 7 nil. so you've got to give Leicester some credit considering on how well they played in the second half going forward um, Sterling was fantastic um, in my opinion Sterling has got to be given a new contract at any cost because I don't think we would be as good as a team if we didn't have Sterling in it. Because Sterling, even though he, he can be a bit frustrating every now and again because of he might not be that good when he goes one-on-one -on -one with 
with the goalkeeper, um, that's one of his weaknesses. And and sometimes his finishing is not always very, very good. And sometimes his final ball is not always very good. But in my opinion, Sterling is one of our most important players, like Bernardo. And if he did leave it, it, w- it, w- it would be a big cost and, and a massive boost for the rest of the teams in the league. And... and, and, and 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 sad for all our city fans. Um, um, it it would be sad for the club because we wouldn't be as doing as well as we are doing if we didn't have Sterling in the side. Rogers, don't get me wrong. Rogers is, is is probably the best manager that Leicester can have. But in my opinion, if he did come to City, he would he he would struggle because I think if he got finished like fifth with City, he would be sad. If he finished fifth with Leicester, the fans would be loving him. That's the difference of the standards of Manchester City's expectations and Leicester City's expectations. So, great win against a tough opponent. Six points clear. We've got to keep going and we've got to keep this momentum going. And Brentford away midweek. Um... Brentford is never an, an an easy opponent to come up against because they have drawn three three with Liverpool this season and they have only lost one to Chelsea so they have given some of the big six sides some good games and um Brentford is a newly promoted side and they're gonna gonna want to prove a point not to like get anything out of the game but to to, to show that they're not gonna be easily rolled over. And playing against newly newly promoted sides are never easy because we've we've been beaten with new, by newly promoted sides in the past or find it or find it difficult to beat to to break teams down that are newly promoted as well because I remember a couple of years ago Norwich came up and then they beat us three two so anything and it can happen so we've got to be fully focused and ready going into that game and I'll be back with five things learned on this uh, game tomorrow at some point. I might vlog a non-league game because I might go to a non-league game tomorrow for Hendon FC, which is my non local non-league club. So um, if the game is on, I will do some vlogs from that. And if the game is cancelled, then I'll do my five things learned. I'm going to do my five things learned regardless, but it might be a little bit late if the game's on, but also if the game is off, then the then um the five things like will be quite early because of obviously I won't be travelling and stuff and going to the game. So thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. We are only um seven subscribers off one hundred, so we're targeting that before the end of the year. We're up against it because the end of the year is actually not too far away, but I'm I'm, I'm still gonna try to get to that mark. So if you could help me out, it would be massively appreciated. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed. And goodbye. Up the city. Let's have it. Three points. Goodbye, thanks for watching.